back and I'm bringing you guys closer to the frame. Look, I can touch you. You're that close to the frame now. I got beautiful light. It's a little less distracted around, distracting, distracting around me. Um, but there's still a lot of, there's still a lot of stuff. I kept the, the plants. So I got some plantage, uh, some foliage on my sides here. And so really appreciate the feedback. Let me know how you feel about the aesthetic in today's video. Let me hop over here to the comments and see who is watching live. Uh, if you could do me a favor, if you're watching the replay, go ahead and type replay in here. That would mean the world to me. And if this is your first time catching me live, uh, let me know so I can just say thank you for being here. Otherwise, if you're a faithful viewer, Give me your biggest oorah. It's like a marine thing. <laughs> or a howdy. That'll be just fine too. I want to give a shout out to my friend Tommy. Tommy reached out to me and he actually sent me a diagram. He's like, Hartley, this is how you need to set up your live stream. I'm not kidding you guys. He sent me a diagram that 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 looked just like this. And he's like, you're going to have your camera right there. You're going to do all this stuff. And I was, he sent me this at like last night. Uh, and I said, Tommy, you're brilliant. This is, this is perfect. This is incredible. Why did I not think of this? So anyhow, you guys, welcome. Hi, hi, hi. Lecture, let me put a little, uh, let me put a little countdown here uh, for us. That way we can get, uh, we can get rolling here in just a second. Where's my little countdown? There we go. I'm going to get started into the content here in just a couple minutes. I'm going to let everyone get into this live stream and then we're going to get talking. We're going to talk about how to change. We're going to talk about how to change your life. <laughs> and um, because it's something that I've recently done, uh, and, and I've learned something along the way of doing this. And I'm not kidding you either. I've recently just changed my life, and, and I learned something while doing it, and I thought I'd share it with you. This is going to be an episode a little bit more on mindset. If you're new to me, I'm Ben Hartley, and uh, I help you grow your business. And one of the number one ways that you can grow your business is by developing your mindset, is, is by showing up for yourself. Um, and you know, Jim Rohn says, work hard on your business if you want to make a salary, but work hard on yourself if you want to make a fortune. And so today we're going to work hard on ourselves a little bit. I'm going to talk a little bit about a change. Whether or not you can change, um, and and if that's possible, if you want to change, how, what does it look like to actually do that? So we're going to spend a little a little, uh, a little bit of our time today in that mindset space. I can't stay for long, but I just wanted to say that this setup is perfect. Good. I, I'm listening to you guys. I listen. I'm listening to the feedback. Greetings from Aruba, radical. That is awesome. Yay! People are liking the setup. Thanks, you guys. This is all on Tommy. Tommy just like he he hooked me up with this. Uh, good. Everyone's loving the setup. Yeah. If you like it, let me know. We got 30 seconds or so, and um, I'm going to start with a question for you guys. All right. Who here wants to change uh, something, something in their life, something about themselves? Um, we're going to go with something about themselves. I, I, I truly do believe that you do have the ability to change anything in your life. Um, but I'm gonna, we'll focus the conversation on, on yourself, right? How many of you here want to change something about yourself um, and yet you feel stuck? You feel like you, um, you, feel like you can't. Um, I'd be curious to, to hear from you. You don't have to tell me what it is, but if like you desire to change, you desire to change something and yet you keep waking up with the same patterns over and over, right? Let me know in the comments if that's you. Um, I've recently just changed uh, something in my life. There's been a number of times in my life that, that things have changed for me. Um, and I wanna talk about that. We're just gonna have a mindset conversation here. Working on change right here, I love it. Okay, good, I'm seeing the comments coming through. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, that's a scented black candle. You better fucking believe this is a scented black candle back here. <laughs> I'm like getting all the all the vibes going. Um, yo, Corey Potter, the very first YouTube comment. Corey, I'm doing it, my friend. <laughs> Corey Potter is on YouTube right now. That is radical. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, I'm working at the Coast Guard right now and I'm ready to go full-time wedding photography here in Aruba, uh, all in, even with this, uh, all in in this with COVID. Okay, good. Yeah, you see me working out in the mornings. Okay, so listen, I see this, uh, this will be a short video maybe. Um, it depends on the interaction that we get here. I think a lot of people say that they want to change things in their life and, 
and yet you feel stuck. I think we often feel stuck. We wake up with the same patterns and, and um, we feel like we can't quite break free um, of these things. Um, and, and so our days just keep rolling and the default keeps coming our way and the regret keeps deepening and the sense of hopelessness kicks in. And sometimes with that hopelessness, we kick ourselves while we are down with shame. And, um, and, and so I see these patterns in my life. Um, I heard this quote this morning and, and it connected the dots so well for me. And I don't know who said this. I was, I was actually just in a clubhouse room and I heard this came through. Maybe this is a quote from someone who's like far greater than me, uh, or some like great philosopher. I don't know, but I heard this quote and it says that, and I believe this, that change, change happens instantly. Okay. Change happens instantly. I believe that you can change instantly. Like, like that there's, there's, you can literally change like in the next moment, whatever it is that you want in your life. If you want a healthier relationship with your wife, you could change that in the next moment. If you want um, greater connection with your kids, you could change it in the next moment. If you want to be more fit, you could change it in the next moment. So, so they were saying that change happens in a moment. It's that the decision to change can sometimes take a lifetime. So change happens instantly, but it's the decision to actually make the change that can take a lifetime. And and the way that we know this is true, this is like the glow up after the breakup. You guys all know what I'm fucking talking about. It's like you break up with someone or they break up with you and then fucking out of nowhere, now I'm working out at the gym. Now I'm getting my nails did. Now I'm waking up in the morning. Now I'm making my fucking bed. Maybe there's a period of, of like, you know, sorrow in there. But like now suddenly there's like this glow up, this sudden out of nowhere, this change, this instant change that just happens. It's the glow up after the breakup. Um, for me, this showed up because for the longest time, I haven't actually been a healthy person. I, I haven't actually taken care of my body, put the right nutrition into it. And I've always said like, yeah, I'll get to that sometime. I just don't have enough time. I don't have time for that shit. Look, I'm running a business. I'm doing these videos. I'm training photographers. I'm, I'm photographing weddings. I, I'm running the podcast. I don't have time to work out and take care of my body. And then I woke up one day and I couldn't feel my leg. On the left side of my leg, on my thigh, uh, I, there's some sort of nerve damage that I, maybe from sitting in this fucking chair all the time. <laughs> and so this, this, I like, I literally couldn't feel my leg. And, um, this happened about, uh, two weeks ago. And, um, it was so interesting. <laughs> I'm I saw a doctor about it. I saw a chiropractor. There was a, some sort of pinched nerve that I have. And, 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 um, I realized, I decided actually, I decided to start taking care of my body, to start moving my body, to start actually becoming physically fit and active. And this is something I've been saying I've wanted to do all my life. Someday I'm going to get healthy. Someday I'm going to work out. Someday I'm going to take fucking care of myself like I take care of the people that I love, like I take care of my wife and I take care of my kids and I take care of my family. Someday I'll take care of myself that way. And... Um, and it was this morning that I realized that the change happened in an instant. And sometimes it's those wake up calls. Sometimes the unfortunate thing is the instant that calls us to wake the fuck up is someone you love leaves you, is uh, a, a, a like this thing where I wake up and I can't feel my leg, is you get fired from your job, is these things. And But the fact remains that the change happened in an instant. It's just that I was hemming and hawing and kicking and screaming like a fucking child <laughs> the whole way, all my life, saying, I can't do that. I don't want to, uh, da, 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 da. right? Change happens in an instant. It's just that we often take, can take a lifetime to make the decision to change. And, um, and so I want to encourage you maybe with that. <laughs> it's like you're fully, you're fully equipped you are fully equipped to make the changes in your life that you want to see. And, um, and so, oh man, I, 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 it's caused me to get really curious about what else, what else have I been settling for? Like, what else have I just been like settling for being like, someday I'll change that. Or like when the things align, you know, then I'll do that. So, um, so I'm going to get really curious about that. My wife and I are going to be having some conversations. I think our location where we live currently is something that we, I've often felt like I can't change. Well, I'm stuck here. This is my location. This is my demographic. This is just like where I am. Like, we can't change that. 
And now I'm starting to feel like, well, what if I just didn't wait a lifetime to decide? What if we just change? It's like, it's like, you know what I mean? Like these are, these are possibilities that are right at your door. Okay. Um, so I just want to share this with you, you guys. I just want to share this, um, th these thoughts with you. Um, I'm going to hop into the, in the conversation here and see what you guys are saying. Um, s someone said, start lifting kegs and stones with me. Yeah. Uh, uh, sciatica is a bitch, homie. Yeah, man. Um, I went on a plant-based diet in 2013 and got so much more energy and clear skin, more energy, never going back. Yep. The break of diet. Yeah. Now I'm getting my, na my nails did. Love. Good. I'm glad you guys are relating with this. Hey, yes. Moving such a scary thing for me. Yes. Um, if you could, let me know in the comments, if you could change something, what would it be? If you could change something in your life right now, what would you change? I'm curious what will happen if you were to write that down. What, what would you change if you could? The thing that I've also discovered is that we, so the life that I say that I want is, is not the life that I actually want. So I can talk a big game. I can say that I want these things, right? Um, but, I, but here I am, you know, hemming and hawing and not actually doing it. So it's, it's, it's interesting to me to consider what do I get out of not changing? right? This is another interesting conversation. What do I get out of not changing? So I could talk about all the things that I want to change. I'm curious, man, people do what the fuck they want to do. You know what I mean? You make time for the things you want to make time for. You, you, you do what you want to do. You certainly don't do what you don't want to do. This is why divorce is like everywhere. Uh, and, and so, I mean, it's one of the reasons. Um, so we do what we want to do. We don't do what we want to do, but we often say we want all these things and yet it's not happening in our lives. I'm just curious. I wonder what we get out of not changing. I wonder what we're currently so satisfied in right now with our current state. I'm just riffing right now. I'm just kind of um, um, offering up just different thoughts that I'm getting really curious about. This isn't me trying to come after anyone. I'm just really thinking about my own life. I wonder what I got out of not actually taking care of my body for the last, you know, 35 years. Um, what do you guys want to change, right? Come on down. <laughs> Good, I like this scene. Uh, Corey Potter says this, for me, it's easy to want to change, but sometimes I don't give enough thought to the benefit of not changing. Yeah, the benefit of not changing. Sorry. Yeah, exactly. Um, it, so an exercise that I've, uh, that I've often worked myself through is when I, when I say I want all these things and yet they're not showing up in my life, I get really curious about, okay, what's the payoff for me? What do I get out of this? Um, what do I get out of staying in this pit? Maybe I get sympathy. Maybe I get attention. Maybe I get to be right and I get to make my asshole dad wrong. Maybe I, <laughs> or my wife, maybe I get to make her wrong and me right. Um, that's why I want the contention in our marriage. So that way I'm the good guy. You know, I'm just, I'm riffing here right now. I wonder what I get out of this. Maybe I get to stay home uh, or, or stay at work late and not go home. Or maybe when I'm at home, I get to disconnect from my kids because work's too busy. And, and so, uh, uh, and so I'm just going to stay on my phone. I, I, I get to stay disconnected. I get to stay safe. I get to stay numb. I'm just curious about all the things that I get. And so I might list all of that out, you know? Um, it's really interesting, the things that you get out of life uh, for some really nasty things that we keep. We, like, we, we pile it on us. So we keep all these, like, negative things attached to us intentionally because we get a fuck ton out of it. And so it's really helpful to consider all the things I gain and then I also find it really beneficial to, beneficial, I like that, beneficial to consider what's the cost, what's the price that not only I'm paying, but what's the price for me? I'm a married man, I got three kids. What's the price that I'm paying? Maybe it's disconnection from my wife. Maybe I'm leading ourselves in the direction of a divorce in four years. Maybe it's um, maybe it's sacrificing um, fi potentially financial gains. Maybe it's, you know, whatever it is. What's the price that I'm paying? Loneliness, disconnection, whatever. But what's the price that my family's paying? What's the price that my wife's paying? What's the price that my, my two boys, Alex and Colton, are paying? What's the price that my daughter's paying? And when I start to actually list this stuff out, you know, like sitting in my complacency of not changing something in my life and then I consider the costs that it's having on me and the people that I say matter most to me, I can actually begin to take responsibility for like, okay, so this is actually what I'm getting out of it. This is why I've stayed here. This is why I haven't changed because I've gotten all these benefits. But fuck me if I'm going to leave my family with the bag. And I start to actually consider how much they're paying 
for the payoffs that I'm getting for just staying in my funk, staying in my shit, staying in whatever it is that I'm choosing, um, I can start to take real change. I can start to take real um, responsibility and, and move forward. So just riffing here with you guys is all I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of walking you through my own thought process uh, as I'm working to grow myself and my business and take you guys along the ride with me. I don't have it figured out, by the way. I'm just trying to call shit on myself <laughs> in the hopes that maybe you'd be like, yeah, like, man, Ben Hartley's a real asshole. I think I might be a little bit of an asshole too. <laughs> all right, you guys. Um, let me know if this resonates, if this makes sense at all. Um, I'd be curious to hear. I know I'm kind of just pontificating. Uh, I would stop procrastinating in all areas of my life. I'm terrible at it. I spend a lot of time being unproductive. Yeah, so so with this, I don't know who said this, and this is all good to keep it, you know, like I'm curious, what do you get out of procrastinating? It's like, well, maybe then you don't have to risk failing. It's like if you never do it, then you can never fail at it. Like you can never actually try and then discover that you couldn't do it. And so maybe there's like that. You're keeping yourself safe from that. Or maybe in the procrastination, it's like, um, there's just a, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a comfort, you know, just, it's just be, again, get really curious about, I wonder why I do that. What do I get out of it? I say, I don't want it. And I keep complaining about it. And yet I sure am getting a lot out of it. Who's paying for my procrastination? How am I paying for it? How are the people closest to me paying for it? Hey, another YouTube comment. I love this. I'm working on developing self-discipline habits. Not easy. Hey, Stephen. Yes, absolutely. Um, talking about change. I like this setup best. <laughs> it's awesome. Hey, you guys. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for hanging in these conversations. I really appreciate you. If there's anyone that you think um, would benefit from being a part of this community of, of photographers, I would love the opportunity to connect with more people, bring more voices into this space. The more diverse experiences, the more diverse voices, the, the more diverse walks of life and, and uh, niches within the creative space of photography, the better. And so definitely uh, invite um, you know your friends uh, into this space. And I want you to know when you tag me in other groups and you do it while following their guidelines, like I see it and I just want to say thank you. Thank you for passing uh, me on. Thank you for passing on this community, the workshops, the group. Um, it means the world. So you guys, I'm going to be heading over to Clubhouse here uh, at 3.30. I don't even know what I'm going to talk about on Clubhouse at 3.30. Um, but, I did, <laughs> but if anybody would like to join, I'm going to start a room and I'm just going to start talking with other creatives over on Clubhouse. And so join me here in the next nine minutes. I'll see you there, everyone. Bye.